I think it depends on what type of job you're going for. Um, but at the same time, um, you know, there shouldn't be much fear behind it, being honest about a disease that just has to have some type of dialogue connected to expressing it to anybody, even a job, even a career. I have a career, um, and they know my disease. Um, I think it's all in how you do the delivery and how you present yourself. You know, if you're looking disheveled and your 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 um, your schizophrenia is aflamed, then there's going to be some type of uh, resistance towards wanting to hire that person. But now, if, if you come across in a way that's humble, um, happy, joyous, and free, if you will, um, and you know you're being intelligent and you're being you're well presented, you're well dressed, you, you, you're taking care of yourself. Um, and you express to them, you know, um, I, I have a, a mental disorder called schizophrenia, but I'm high functioning, I work hard, which usually people with mental illness do, based on the uh, jobs that, you know, organizations give like Fountain House. Um, people with m mental diagnosis are very hard workers. You know, they don't focus on being distracted as much as a person who's quote unquote normal. Um, you know, but again, we have to present ourselves in a very astute, professional, sometimes we even have to overachieve in that area. Uh, meaning that, um, say, Ma um, Michael Jordan in basketball, he's an overachiever to me in basketball. We kind of have to approach disclosing our information about mental illness in that fashion. You know, once you jump over a hurdle, what can be in your way?